pandemic has been a bit of a catalyst for, uh, for cyber criminals. Experts on the front lines of cybersecurity for the Canadian government say COVID-19 has created a world of opportunity for criminals who are searching for victims and systems to exploit. IT systems are getting more and more complex, so getting a full uh, spectrum of security on these IT systems is, is a bit challenging and, and cyber criminals uh, are getting more sophisticated at finding these vulnerabilities. The method of attack, ransomware, where a malicious operator gains access to and locks down a system critical to operations, holding its data hostage until money is turned over, usually in the form of cryptocurrency. And experts like Kahari say provinces like Manitoba are a target for these groups. Through the pandemic, healthcare providers have been a focus. They have no scruples. Uh, they're going after money. Um, and if they can get money out of a, uh, an individual, a business, or a provincial or municipal entity, they would go after it. Over the course of 2021, there were at least 235 incidents reported to the Canadian Centre for Cybersecurity, more than half of which where critical infrastructure was targeted. While he wasn't able to provide specifics on whether or not Manitoba was recorded in this data, Kahari explained changes during the pandemic created an optimal environment for attacks, adding the numbers are likely higher. Canada is a very connected country, but the pandemic has, has forced us to be even more connected, working from home. Uh, all these systems, remote access, have created an opportunity for, uh, for cyber criminals to take advantage of uh, either misconfiguration or weaknesses in, in, uh, in the way some of these systems are deployed. Here in Manitoba, Shared Health says it has various tools in place to protect the system from a variety of threats. In a statement, it said in part, quote, our employees have mandatory privacy training and a security education and awareness program, which includes scenarios and information about proper digital hygiene, malware, viruses, ransomware, social engineering and phishing. Additionally, our organization participates in a number of pan-Canadian and international cybersecurity forums, including relationships with law enforcement agencies to monitor and mitigate cybersecurity risks. Our digital team also continually reviews threat intelligence as part of standard operations practice. As new threats are identified, risks to our systems are assessed and any necessary actions are taken to mitigate impact." End quote. Experts say one of the most important things you can do if you become the victim of an attack like this is to report it, as officials and law enforcement can learn from each instance on how to prevent future ones from taking place. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.